Welcome back to bazookatraining.com here in the sparring drill section. Today, we're talking about and learning how to defend body shots. So let's get right into it. Now, whether it's a rear straight to the body, a jab to the body, hooks or shovel punches, the main thing you want to remember is if I get stuck and I get shelled up, that is when the body shot's gonna happen. So if Matt throws punches to my head and all of a sudden I stop here and I'm defending punches, this is allowing them to go to my body at this point and it makes it hard because I've grabbed my head at this point. So the main thing when it comes to defending body shots is making sure you move your feet. So even if Matt pressures me and he throws punches, after a while I have to start moving my feet. I have to exit. Now to do it in a safe way, this is a little bonus tip, right? If I get shelled up here like this and I start moving, if I go in this direction, I don't want to make sure, I have to make sure this hand is up because obviously that left hook is going to come. So if I'm here like this, I'll keep this hand up because I know it's coming. If I circle out the other way, I know the rear hand's coming. So as I circle out, I make sure I keep this hand up. A little quick way to exit out, right? You don't want to get caught. But step one is make sure, one, you don't get shelled up and you move. Now, even if you do get shelled up now, the main thing you have to remember, if someone's good at attacking the body, they're not just going to go body shot, body shot. They're going to go head, set up the body, then go back to the head. So if you don't know how to defend, your hands are going to be going up and down, up and down. Now, what we're going to start with here is just a basic drill of Matt going jab, cross, hook to the body. So right away, even if I use my wedge here, I could move my feet, okay? One, two, boom, I could move my feet is my ideal, right? So I can block, block, move out of the way and circle. Now we're going to Pretend that we can't exit out so we can start talking. So he goes the one, two, three again. One, two, three. Now you notice here, I'm keeping my hand connected to my head. A lot of the mistakes people make is they'll bring their hand down. So again, they'll block it nicely, then they bring the hand down. But if he reloads that hook and goes upstairs, which most people are going to do, I end up having to do this too much. So what I want you to do is try to keep your hand connected to your head. Okay, so even if I block the one, two here, I feel that hook and I use it as a fold, okay? Now I'm folding in. Now usually you can build in a nice counter off of that, but using this fold method is probably your best friend, okay? But at the end of the day, the prior pri priority is to protect your head and if you get hit with the body, it sucks, but I'd rather my head protected. But, but this way, I can kind of keep both protected, right? And then still build in a counter shot off of that. Now, same thing on the other side. If he goes one, two, and then maybe he sets up a rear hook, same thing. I'm dipping to the body, and then I can shoot up with something or block counter with my other hand. But that's my main, okay? My main shot. And these are for round punches, all right? Now, so again, he goes one, two, and he goes to a, a round hook. I block here. Now, if you notice, I come here or here, it still exposes the center of my body with this type of defense. Now, someone good is going to go round and then build in shovel punches. So from there, I have to be able to defend and then build my elbows in at this point. Okay, so I'll show you how we do it here. So if Matt goes one, two, and he goes a lead shovel now, so it'll go one, two. Instead of going round, it's one, two. He keeps the elbow in and this is called the shovel punch right this is usually what gets the liver really well so one two boom okay see how i folded this hand in okay so instead of stepping here i come in and i bring this elbow in all right now sometimes if matt does it again sometimes i can come here and defend through here i don't love this here because if he shoots around it's going to hit me in the head so ideally I'm using my back hand to defend it. So he goes one more time, one, two, three. I fold it in. Now the beautiful thing about that, say if any of you goes for an uppercut, this hand here protects me for an uppercut as well. All right, so Matt goes one, two, round hook, one, two, shovel hook, okay? This will be the first part of our drill. So it teaches you boom, boom, block outside, one, two, boom, block more inside. So you see this. Now, I like to step back on it. I don't want to stay here. So I take a little bit of step back to kind of create a little bit of space, all right? Now, say he goes on the other side now, he'll go maybe one, two, round, or maybe double jab, round. Let's go double jab, change it up, block, block, outside, and then block, block, inside, okay? And then I can build my counters off of that, okay? So that's going to be your main for defending the round versus the inside. So when you put it together in a drill now, 
I always like to make sure you practice the variation. So we'll start with the lead side just to give you the example. Then you could always practice the same concept on the other side. So Matt goes jab, cross, hook to the body. Okay. So this is our main drill. He goes, I go block, block, boom, I move my feet. Second one, he goes wide again, boom, I block. Third one here, I come in and I block in front, all right? So I have moving my feet, I have the fold, right? So move my feet, the fold, and then blocking in front. Then again, on the other side, I move my feet, I block, and then I bring my elbow in. All right, so let's practice the sequence where we do three on the right side, evade outside, inside, and then on the other side, just a simple double jab into the rear hand. And then we build the drill off of that. So again, I block one, two, boom. Now, just I'll, I'll clarify this. I don't, how I block the one, two, that is up to you, all right? Now, ideally, if I know my opponent's a pressure fighter, right? I don't want to sit here and block here because then all of a sudden he's too close to me. So if I know my strategy is to move my feet because they are going to hit the body, I'm going to use a parry and move my feet to begin with, right? I'm going to start moving my feet before he even gets me to shell up and defend. So if, I, if he's not a pressure fighter, I might stay here, boom, and then evade. I might stay in the pocket, use my wedge a little bit more, okay? But then if I know he's going to try to get a little bit more aggressive, it's all right, I'll move my feet. I'll stay longer, boom, yes. I'll stay in here if I need to, right? Back up, move, create, and have that extra space to be able to move. All right, let's put the final drill together. Three on the right side, three on the left side, all right? And then I'll give you one bonus little tip if you do get stuck in the shell, all right? So let's go here. So we set it up. I move my feet, option one. Number two, outside fold, keeping my hand connected to my head. One, two, block on the inside. We go to the other side now, boom, boom, move my feet. Second one here, I fold. Third one here, I bring that arm inside, all right? Now, the bonus tip, right? Once you're here, say there's no option. The pressure fighting's too good. I'm fighting in a ring, not in a cage where it's a little bit more circular to move around. Now, all of a sudden, I'm stuck in the corner. What do I do? Well, the last option is, Okay, there's actually two. I'll give you two today. So I'm here, I'm shelled up, Matt's ripping the body. As soon as he goes to this body shot, my counter is gonna be counter upstairs, right? If I counter back when they go to the body, I'll stay shelled up. As soon as I anticipate it, boom, I'll give one to the head, maybe while he's throwing, or maybe I'll stay shelled up here. As he goes to the body, just boom, rip a nice short little uppercut to make sure that will slow him down and get him to stop throwing. But that main tip from here, guess what the best option is? Grabbing into the clinch. So if I get shelled up and all of a sudden I can't move out of the way, I'm stuck, I'm just gonna grab the head, control, and just try to throw some knees, all right? So if you can't get out of the shell, just clinch yourself up. And that's the main ways you're gonna defend the body. One, don't get shelled up. Two, making sure your hands stay connected because guys are good at head, body, head combinations. So folding and trying to defend with the hands up as best as possible. And if you can't, look for quick counters to keep them honest or tie them up, clinch them up and be safe, all right? That's the main option. Don't just sit here, take the shots. And you start seeing even in MMA now more success of people finishing to the body. So I think it's important now that we discuss how to defend them. All right, hope you enjoyed today's lesson. We'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. 
The second is at-home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.